If Premiere ever made you want to throw your computer out of the window, you're not alone. It can be slow and sometimes it feels like it's working against you. By the end of this video, you and Premiere are gonna get along very well. Number one, before we open up Premiere, you gotta make sure your PC is optimized for editing. Go to the start menu and type in power. Then click on choose a power plan. This will open up the Windows control panel. And here, make sure your power plan is set to high performance or if you're computer allows it ultimate performance. This will make sure your CPU is always running at higher base frequencies. This means your CPU is ready at any moment. Now on newer CPUs the difference between the power plans is not that much but it's still worth it. But on older CPUs and especially on older Windows operating systems this setting makes a huge difference. Number two the obvious ones. Now because most of you already know this I'm gonna count all of these as one trick so feel free to skip through. First, make sure your playback settings are optimized. If you have an older computer, try lowering the preview playback resolution from the drop down menu in here. As you can see, nothing really changes. That's because this only changes the resolution when your video is playing. If you click the wrench tool, you can do the exact same thing for the paused resolution. And as you can see, this does lower the quality and that equals better playback. Now from the same wrench tool menu, you can disable high quality playback. This also helps with reducing playback lag. Now next, disabling the effects. First, go to the plus icon in the program monitor. This opens up a menu with all the available toggles and switches. Find the effects button and drag it to the other icons. Then click on OK. Now if you click it, you will toggle off all the effects applied to your clips. It's that simple. Now number three, this one's for editors who are using an Nvidia graphics card. Install the studio driver. This will increase your performance a little. Obviously if you're gaming a lot, don't do this, but if you're not, the studio driver will help. Number four, media cache. Media cache are temporary files stored on your computer and they can pile up over time and slow things down. Clearing them will speed things up. Now to do that, go to the edit menu on top and then at the bottom, find preferences and choose media cache. Once it's opened, click the delete button in here. Now make sure the delete unused media cache files are enabled, then click on okay and let Premiere do its thing. You can also automate this process to delete your your cache files after a certain amount of time or when your cache memory exceeds a certain amount. Number five, learn your shortcuts. That will seriously increase your editing speed. There's no better way to do this than by using the brand new keyboard from Editor's Keys. It's specifically made for Premiere Pro. I mean, do you remember how easy it was to study from flashcards? Well, by using this keyboard, you will learn shortcuts you didn't even knew existed. Plus, the keyboard feels like an Apple keyboard. It's super high quality. So satisfying. Now, as you can see, all the Premiere Pro shortcuts are on here. They are color grouped, which means you can easily find the right key combination. Now, the battery, wow. You don't even have to charge it that much. About once every three months and you're fine. You can connect up to three devices and switch easily between them by pressing the Bluetooth profile buttons on top. This works really well on both Mac and Windows. Now, if you're a night owl, you're in luck because this keyboard is backlit. No need to strain your eyes. You can adjust the amount of light and the light is super soft as well. Now, of course, if you don't like it wireless, they also have wired keyboards if you don't mind cables. And of course, they don't just make keyboards for Premiere, but also for After Effects, Photoshop and even FL Studio. Now, besides keyboards, they also have keyboard covers for your Mac or iPad. I think it's time you guys level up as video editors, so click the link down below to check out Editor's Keys. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Trick number six, remove duplicated and clear unused media. This not only speeds things up, but it also helps you stay organized. So as you can see right here, I have the same clip two times. I did that on purpose, of course, to demonstrate you. Now imagine you have tens or twenties of them. To remove them in one click, go to the edit menu on top and then click on consolidate duplicates. Okay, that was two clicks, but hey, you could set a shortcut for that. But now what if I'm done with selecting my footage and I wanna delete the unused ones, like these two? Then all you gotta do is go to the edit menu on top again and then choose remove unused. It's that easy. Number seven is workflow related. Imagine you messed up your workspace. Happens all the time.
we already know that we can easily reset it by going to Windows, Workspaces, and then right here, you can reset it to your saved layout. But now I do recommend that you set a shortcut for that. To do that, go to the Edit menu on top, and then at the bottom, click on Keyboard Shortcuts. Once it's opened up, search for Reset To. Then in here, Reset to Saved Workspace will appear. Now to set a shortcut, click the empty space in here and press the key you want to assign to this action. I like 9 on my numpad and then click on OK to confirm it. There you go, look at that. Number 8 is super important. Head over to the file menu at the top and then go down until you see project settings. Then click on general. Now in this panel, make sure the renderer is set to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. This makes sure that Premiere actually uses your graphics card to power everything. Or at least everything that's GPU accelerated. Which brings us to number 9. Avoid non-GPU accelerated effects. Like these ones for example. You can easily recognize them because they don't have the acceleration icon in here. If you use them, Premiere will feel like it's running on a computer from the 90s. So if you can, just use After Effects for heavy effects and animations. It's so much more stable. Number 10. Learn After Effects. It's so crucial for every video editor. So click the video right here on my left to learn a super cool effect that even beginners can follow along with. So see you right there. Goodbye. And thanks for watching.